Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to 3D model buildings in Blender. Let's get right into this. And yeah, so they're, they actually kind of look difficult, but they're really easy. And why they're really easy to make is because you should make assets beforehand. So the buildings, they're very simple, but they just have tons of assets on them. And these are all the assets I use right here, and I'll be showing you all how to make them. So, yeah, so it's really easy if you go ahead and 3D model those beforehand. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. So let's go ahead and start off with the big sign right there. So what we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and click shift A. Let's go ahead and add a cube. By the way, if you're confused on why I'm clicking at any point in this video, you can look down at the bottom right and it shows what buttons I'm clicking. Now let's go into edit mode. Let's go SX to scale it on the X axis. And for this one, we're just going to make it a square. So about right there. And now what we'll do is let's go ahead and click shift D. And now let's just scale it up a little bit. Not too much but just a little bit and about right there is good and now what we'll do is click p make sure it's selected click p p selection now click it again cl click on one side click shift d and then what we're going to do is s scale it down and i kind of did this backwards but it's all right so then right there move it away click e to extrude it and now click l to select it p selection now click this one click this one and then go over to here add a boolean modifier select the middle piece click apply and then just go ahead and delete that and mine kind of messed up i usually kind of do it a different way but i decided to do it backwards this time so select both of these faces if they are there x delete the faces and now what we'll do is we'll just connect these inside faces like this so what you do is you select both of them click f to go ahead and fill that in so this edge this edge f and then these two and click f and now we have something that looks like this let's click this one hold down shift click this one do Control j to join them together tabs go into edit mode let's select this one and then just like kind of scale it down a little bit i don't really want it that big but right there's good now what we'll do is shift a Let's go ahead and add a cylinder. And for my cylinder, I'm just going to have it have eight sides like this, eight vertices. Now click S to scale it down. And you want to scale it down enough that's kind of inside it, just like that. And now we're going to click SX and S, I mean SZ to scale on the Z axis. There we go. Go ahead and scale it down a little bit more and about right there. We'll put it right there, Shift D, and move it right over there. Perfect. And there we go. That is pretty much our little sign. What we'll actually do is select this face right here click shift d and let's move it over a little bit about right there now we're going to go ahead and click s to scale it up and then we're going to click s z to scale on the z axis this one doesn't need to be too big but about right there a little bit bigger than it move it over just a little bit now we'll go ahead and click l on one of these shift d and x 90 there we go move it over and now what we'll do is scale it down a little bit, just like that. Now just go ahead and position them. I'm going to actually scale it down a little bit more. And yep, that is about the perfect size. 50 and move it downward as well. So there we go. That is our little sign right there. That kind of sticks out the side of the building. Now what we can do, move this to the side. Click Shift D on it. Duplicate it and just move it over here and then this one is going to be taller and there we go so those are pretty much our little signs we'll just move those over to the side right now and now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to make these satellite also once again making all these assets before you make the buildings is so much more easier because it just makes it really easy now we're going to go ahead and add a cylinder this one you can add however many sides you want i'm actually going to add 16 vertices just like that and scale it down there is probably a better way to make a satellite but how i do it is is i just actually actually i delete all the faces besides one so l click this face and then delete faces i just leave this one face and there is probably an easy way but how i do it is i just click i to inset and then i just do this quite a bit of times so not too much and i would say about right there just go ahead and kind of get closer once you get to the middle and there we go that's pretty much good and now what i do is i select the bottom face click this little circle icon up here and then we just kind of move it down like this and yeah i would say that looks about good we're gonna go ahead and right click auto smooth that and then we're also gonna click a to select everything move it up we're being turned that off now and then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and rotate it a little bit r y and about right there is pretty much good and now what i usually do a to select everything alt e to extrude them along normals and then i just extrude it to about right there and there we go that's good and now we're just gonna go shift a add a cube scale it down and scale it down some more move it outward go to the back view and sy just like this move it up 
and then go ahead and put that just right there and then what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna move it inward and then we're gonna take this side and we're gonna rotate it on the y-axis and there we go it's pretty much hidden in there now this let's go ahead and scale it down and let's go ahead and duplicate it so it looks good on the other side now we are just gonna go ahead and add another cylinder ry90 just like this and this is just gonna kind of be poking out the middle right here so we're just gonna move it back so this will be the part that is kind of like attached to the building just to make it a little bit easier usually the satellite would kind of be tilted out a little bit more but i think it's okay select this middle face and shift d now we are just gonna click E to extrude it just a little bit, B to bevel it a little, and click L to select it. And now we're just gonna kinda kinda move them around. There we go. Now we just have them chilling in the middle. Now what we can do now is let's go ahead and actually now let's just load in a new piece. So go ahead and add in a cube. Now on this bottom piece, go ahead and scale it down and about right there-ish. So for this piece, what we're just gonna do is just have it kind of like extrude something. So I to inset. And then E to extrude. And I'll go ahead and rotate it on the Y axis a little bit. Maybe a little bit like that. And then we are going to extrude it once again. Just kind of move this upward a little bit. And just anywhere you want it to be really. Now we are going to click E. Scale it up a little bit more. Like that. And then E again. And there we go. That is pretty much our satellite. Y'all can probably make it look a lot better if y'all want to. But I'm just kind of speed running making buildings right now. So there we go. That looks pretty good. And now for the pretty much last thing well, actually yeah for the air conditioner and windows windows are very simple so next let's actually go ahead and do the window so let's go ahead and move back over here so windows are very simple go ahead and add in a cube and just go ahead and kind of stretch it however long you want your windows to be so s z and i would say my windows would look about that long and now let's just go ahead and move it inward a little bit just like this not too much and then click i to inset just like this and then click e to extrude shift d and then S Y just like this and then go ahead and move it outward now we'll click L and shift D R X 90 just like this and then we'll go ahead and scale it down a little bit more just a little bit just like that and then we'll actually bring this face out a little bit more and then just go ahead and move it up there we go and that is pretty much our window kind of looks weird but overall looks pretty good now what we'll do is we'll select everything well actually let's do this shift D and now we're gonna go ahead and make pretty much a double window so this is actually pretty easy just select this face and this face move it over just like this and then you just select this one shift d move it over make sure it's pretty even about right there and then we select this one move it over and there we go there is our double window now for these what you want to do select both of them click tab to go into edit mode so now what we are going to do click shift d on this one and don't move it actually shift d and scale it down only in a little bit not too much just a little bit and just extrude it outward just like this like lp selection then this one we are gonna click shift d scale it down only in a little bit do it like this and click lp selection to do that and there we go now our windows are done we will go ahead and make them look good on the buildings later now for pretty much the very last asset is the air conditioner right here the air conditioner is actually very simple we are just gonna go ahead and move these to the side and shift a out of cube Go ahead and scale it on the y-axis to kind of make a little rectangle shape. Control R to add a loop cut down the middle. And those aren't really completely square, so I'll scale it up a little bit more. There we go. Now click I and then I again. And yep, that looks pretty good. Now E to extrude. Extrude them inward decent, a decent amount. Not too much, but about right there. Now what we'll do is we'll also click I to inset on this one. Now what we'll also do is click I to inset on this side. Then S to Z to scale on the Z-axis. S X to scale on the Y-axis. And just kind of move it over a little bit just like that and now on this side this one will just be i to inset let's scale it on the z-axis just a little bit and then move it inward just a little bit as well and this one we did forget to move it in so let's also move that one in a little bit and now what we'll do is select the bottom face and let's go ahead and scale it on the y-axis now we'll click e and then we'll click i click again s x not s x x and then e and then e again and then we are gonna click s y just like this and just extrude it just a little bit more and there we go that is our little bar right there let's go ahead and select it to move it right over here and let's go ahead and scale it up just a little bit more shift d and let's go ahead and move it over to the right side just like that on this side you might actually want it to be a little bit longer besides that is going to attach to the building go ahead and move those out a little bit now what we're going to do go ahead and go into edit mode let's go ahead and add a cylinder and ry90 you do want it to have a decent amount of sides it doesn't have to have too much but 
I would say 8 to 16 sides maybe. Probably an even number of sides too. Because an even number of sides probably makes this a lot easier. But let's go ahead and move it in there. Let's actually go ahead and select the top faces. So these two. And then these two on the side. Then these two on the bottom. And then these two on the side right here. Now we're going to click all E extrude faces along normals. And there we go. That is going to go ahead and be our little fan on the inside. So let's go ahead and stick that right in there. Now go ahead and center it towards the middle just like that. Let's actually go ahead and rotate it a little bit just to add a little bit more detail. Right here, rotate this one. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click Shift A, add a cylinder. This one, I recommend having a small amount of sides, maybe like six. About, yeah, pretty much six amount of sides looks pretty good. Because this one, we are going to be making lots of them. So this would go ahead and bring the triangle count up quite a bit, which we don't really want. Which is why we go ahead and add it only in a little bit. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and move it up just like this. And then move it to the side. Shift D. Duplicate it and just move it down. Now we'll select this one as well. And move it down. And let's just go ahead and do this for the entire thing. Like that. And maybe we can fit one more. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're just going to select all of these right here. And then we are going to click Shift D. And we are going to rotate them 90 degrees just like this. And now it does look kind of weird. So what you want to do is click Alt S. And then just scale it down a little bit more. And actually for these ones, what we'll do is we can select them. And let's also go ahead and click Alt S. Just scale them down. And yeah, that looks pretty much good. Now what we'll do now on the side, what we're going to do, select this, Shift D. SX and then just go ahead and move it outward and we could rotate it but I'll just move it down like this and now what we are just gonna do is duplicate these like this and then select this one and then just duplicate them all and then just like that that looks pretty good now we are gonna select all of these right here there we go and now shift D RZ 180 rotate it 180 degrees move it on to this side and kind of make sure that's actually in there there we go and now move it towards the middle as z to rotate it, scale it on the z axis and there we go that's all for that side now if you want to you can go ahead and add a little thing right here if you want to just for a little bit more detail let's go ahead and sy and all right looks pretty good scale it up just a little bit amount of detail you can go ahead and add as much detail to this as you want if you want to you can go ahead and add a little bump right there but i'm not gonna go ahead and do that Actually, that does look kind of decent. So I'll go ahead and just select these and I could move them over just like this. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll just go ahead and toss that to the side and there we go. So that's pretty much everything we need for our building. We'll do the bricks later. Now once you have all this, move it to the side, go to shift A, add a cube, and then just go ahead and pretty much make the outline of your building. So for this, we don't really need a giant building. Let's just go ahead and make a simple rectangle building. And then bring this kind of upward. We're just going to remake probably this building right here. And there we go. Once you have a basic cube, that's pretty much all we need. So now what you are going to do, go ahead and grab your windows. So grab your windows. Make sure you select both of them. Not like that. Make sure you select both pieces. Just like this. There we go. Shift D. And then move it over here. And all right. Just go ahead and put it where you want it. Make sure you scale them up as well. Or else they'll probably be decently small. So just go ahead and put your buildings like this. Maybe duplicate them a little bit. And just put windows around your building where you think windows should be. And there we go. We have windows all around our building. Now what you want to do is go ahead and select all of these ones right here. So let's go ahead and select all of these. So only the outside ones. Don't select the actual window part. Just these little blocks that are kind of covering the window. Select all of them. Click Control J to join them together. Now select these and then select the building. Go ahead and add a Boolean modifier. Select these pieces. Click Apply just like this. And then you can go ahead and delete them. And then your window should look kind of decent. It kind of messed up. So what we'll actually do is select these parts right here that it made kind of indents in the window for. So just select them just like this. There we go. And on all sides and then click alt e do them along normals just extrude them inward and there we go now we have our nice looking windows on the side right there pretty cool also for the top i don't really do very good roofs but what i will do is i'll do Control d and i'll just kind of scale it up just kind of like that move it inward and there we go that looked kind of decent for a roof so i'll just go ahead and leave that right there and now what we'll do is we'll add the bricks on the side so for the bricks on the side what we'll do is we'll add a cube right here and scale it on the y-axis just make it kind of look like a brick and now what you want to do add it in an array and then where do we want to put our array i don't think we want to put it right there so let's do zero i think we want it on the x axis by just about one so just put it on the x-axis by one and that will just go ahead and make pretty much two bricks just like that and then just go ahead and increase the count you can kind of increase the count to whatever you want i recommend doing at least 10 because then you can kind of delete some have extra now what you want to do 
go ahead and just click apply then add another array and then this one is going to be one on the z-axis just like this you can see now we have another row of bricks and now just go ahead and add like three or four i'll probably do four actually no i'll go ahead and do three because I used three on my other ones and go ahead and apply that as well and now we have a giant row of bricks so what we're gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and bevel each one just a little bit not a lot but a little bit just go ahead and make it look good so now what you want to do select everything go over to mesh up here transform and then go down to randomize just like this and then it will randomize your bricks a little bit you can open up this tab to kind of adjust the randomized amount I don't really recommend going too high or too low because it kind of just makes it look weird overall I just recommend kind of doing 0.1 maybe. Yeah, if you do it lower, you can't really see the difference. But 0.1 looks about good. Yeah, there's not really any like imperfections. So it just looks good like this. And now what we'll actually do is we'll select this row, row right here since it does look kind of weird. Select that one and then just move it over about halfway. And there we go. Now we have our little brick wall. What we can do is we can just duplicate this row and then we can just kind of put it right there. There we go. Now we'll do the wall for the bottom in just a second. But now what we'll do is go ahead and add in a cube, move it over here, and then we'll do S O Y just like this. Go ahead and just bevel the size a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And now we'll just go ahead and stack these. So Alt A, and then just rotate it 90 degrees on the S axis, on the Z axis I mean. And then just go ahead and stack this. So just go ahead and align this one just like this, and pretty much just duplicate. So select both duplicate it move it up there we go select both and we'll duplicate it and then we'll also move it up and there we go we now have these stacks of bricks so shift d and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move it over here and this is gonna be the corner of our building i actually kind of recommend doing this before you add your windows so you can kind of like adjust your windows based on this but i forgot to do that so what we'll do is we'll just kind of scale it down a little bit and make it smaller than the windows and there we go that is our brick wall now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and duplicate this, rotate it 90 degrees, and then we'll also toss right here. Once again, I do recommend doing this before your windows. I just forgot to, which so now it's kind of like interrupting our windows right now, but that's okay. And there we go. We now have the pretty nice brick outline. Now we are going to take this right here, duplicate it, and then we are just going to move it up just like this. Go into edit mode. It's actually rotated 90 degrees. Move it over here, and then we'll also scale this down just so we can add a little bit more bricks in there just like this and now just go ahead and kind of put it on the side and now all these extra bricks you can just go ahead and delete them yeah so just go ahead and delete all the extra bricks and actually for these what we'll do let's go into edit mode and let's just delete all the bottom ones so they don't interrupt our little brick wall so just delete the three bottom ones and x delete there we go and now for these what we are going to do is select the side bricks the all the ones on the side just like this and we are actually going to go ahead and move them inward about right there you don't have to select every face just move them inward so it kind of makes a line along the wall just like that and that looks pretty good now we are also going to do it with this side there we go we now have our nice wall go ahead and duplicate it rotate it 90 degrees now and rz 90 there we go rotate it 90 degrees since these sides are already flattened you just go ahead and move it like this and yeah that looks pretty nice actually let's go ahead and do 180 just so we can go ahead and rotate it like that to make this side look a little bit better and now we'll go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis just like this and we'll go ahead and put it right over here and there we go now just go ahead and pick where you want your door to be so i would say i want my door to go ahead and be right here so let's go ahead and delete all of these and then these ones on the side we'll just go ahead and move these over just a little bit and there we go we now have a pretty empty space right there now go ahead and add a cube in let's just go ahead and toss right here and just go ahead to make a simple door i'm not very good at making doors so i'm just gonna make a very very simple one and now what you want to do is just decorate the side of your building with air conditioners solar panels and all that other stuff just go ahead and duplicate it move it over and just put them where they would usually be also you might want to scale them up a little bit also by the way i forgot to say you would probably want to like color and texture all of this before you put it on the buildings just because it makes it so much easier so make sure you like texture and stuff before you put it on the buildings because it's so much easier so just put them like that and just gather scatter them around the buildings with all of this stuff and there we go that is our building pretty simple i i would probably add a few more things but it looks pretty good for now you can also add stuff on the roof or wherever if you want to and this method is actually really nice because now once you did all that you just easily create another building because you already have all your assets made already. 
so you don't have to remake them you can just easily copy and paste them onto another building and it makes it super easy so that is how you go ahead and make a building in blender though so that's gonna go ahead and be all for this video so make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video